you might remember this nice clicking system. So what you can see here is um, yeah, these very nice tracks. I finally painted them in the same gray as the rest of the machine, as the blade and the hood. Um, they are really outstanding, very very detailed and so lovely. Yeah, and um, yeah, the cabin is really on a high detail level. Um, the swipers, all the, the instruments in there, or the controls, um, the driver, um, the lights. Um, there's also a cabin light in there. This is oh yeah, this is something I still have to do. Is built in the the, the cabin light and. Um, the very nice uh, lights and you have for sure these great uh, cylinders um, five five cylinders are built in here too just to level up the blade and uh, three others just to uh, change the 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 angle um, with which you want to operate the blade so um, really nice details and the whole kit is, is really simple to build um, it is very well designed and planned and everything is there that you need um, a few components have to be have to be ordered by yourself but the producer tells you what you need and where you can get it um, all the, the, the missing uh, components can be ordered on uh, in uh, online stores so no problem with shipping or so so this is really nice and in the end you get from my point of view a really outstanding little machine that looks pretty awesome and it's just yeah it is it's just outstanding when you listen just very very carefully you'll hear a, a, a light sound that is coming from the, the built-in um, fan that is, is uh, in there for cooling, for the cooling of the two motors and um, it is running in, at the moment when you turn on the machine that it, it runs so it, it ensures that the motors are cooled very well. So first of all I would like to just uh, start the engine but this might be too loud but just for a short, short um, moment just to show you that it works. no chance to overhear it didn't you <laughs> it just it's just so great this sound um, and the lights are working for sure four lights um, at the top of the machine and three at the back right here and um, what I also would like to show you is when the lights are turned on like this and you turn on the machine they just uh, flash a little bit um, this, this is really funny I will later on I will check on the video that you hopefully can see it I'm, I'm not 100% not sure so um, yeah, let me show you how this blade uh, works, operates. So you can lift it. By the way, the pump is only running, the hydraulic system is only engaged when, when I, I pull the stick for, for a um, hydraulic function. If, if, if you do not need um, any hydraulic function, then the pump is not running. So this will just um, save, um, save your battery and will in the end will lead to long uh, long runs for you um, without changing the battery so just to to um, to level up the blade is you just pull this uh, stick that is the, the maximum height you can you can lift it and the other way 
then you can just um, switch or uh, change the, the, the angle it is, it is working to the left and to the right and there's this um, three or third way how you can change the blade is I use this, this stick So this is for example needed when you when you change the, the angle then you must for sure also change the angle um, of the blade this way. So that's the blade, it, it operates, it, it works really very very well. Uh, by the way you can, can easily lift up the whole dozer. the light and now this is maybe it's better this way this under, underneath um, this part is the, is the battery I just need to lift it and it's gone then you can see right here is the plug for the battery I just pull it off and take the battery out of the dozer. By the way, this is a 5000 uh, milliampere uh, light pole. Um, so I'm really looking forward to use it. I think it can you can easily use the dozer for I think at least 2 hours or so with with just uh, such a pack. But I will let you know next time when I just will have the practice at the RC construction site. So, next step is do it this way. Flip it to the left side, pull out the, the main cable. Then you can just take the, the whole cabin aside. Let me put it over there. Now you can see what's in here. This is the main cable, um, the power, the battery is lying right here and here, right here is, a, is, is the, um, the, the power connector and, and this, this cable, it has a cable built in there that connects just these two, two um, things with each other. Underneath is the sound module or, or the sound system. Um, it's a it's a bio sound system underneath or this thing is the Savonaut M220 it's the ESC and this is the ESC Savonaut MFR to control the hydraulic pump so that's it this is the connection to the cap for the lights so next step is To remove the hood you might remember this nice clicking system so just pull it this way take it away here it is here is the main cable again pull it out that's it this is the hood everything nice and right here now you have the view Um, the hydraulic tank again, the hydraulic motor, um, the receiver, the three servos, and underneath are the th uh, three valves of the hydraulic block. That's it. Everything is clean and and tidy, and uh, can be very easy opened. If there's anything to do, just um, open it like this, and then you have the full possibility to, to check it and to go for it. So that's it. This is the last impression um, of my dozer. Next video will show it right in, in an action in action. So um, as always, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully you like the video. 
let me know by giving a thumb up and if, and if you have any questions uh, ask me in the comment box below I will answer them so have a good time bye bye